Ready for the next topic? The number properties. So we have eight values over here on the left, all these expressions, equations, and over on the right, we have the different properties. And so it says match each expression with the property that it shows. The first one says five plus zero equals five. Now we know adding zero by anything to anything is always going to result in the answer being whatever you added to zero. So five plus zero is five. It doesn't change the answer. Adding zero to any number doesn't change it. When the result is the same as the number you started with, that's called an identity. If you're an identity, it means that the answer is identical to what it started out with. So five plus zero equaling five, that is the additive identity. Whereas in the second problem, five times one equals five, we know that multiplying anything by one always results in the same answer. Just like adding zero results in the same answer. So if five plus zero equals five is the additive identity, and that means that five times one, which equals five, is, what do you think? I hope you guessed it. It's the multiplicative identity, okay? Multiplying any number by one is going to result in the identical answer. Next one, five times zero equals zero. We know any number times zero results in just zero. Zero amounts of any number will just be zero, a zero amount. That is just simply called the zero product property. Now, sometimes you'll see it called the zero product property. Sometimes it'll be called the multiplication prop multiplicative property of zero. They mean the exact same thing. The next one, two plus three equals three plus two. Okay, the numbers didn't change. Two plus three equals three plus two. The numbers didn't change, the order did. And when the order changes, I want you to think about going to school and then coming home. The direction or the value of the length that you're going in doesn't change from home to school, school to home. But the order getting flip-flopped covers the same amount of value, correct? That's what's called the commutative property. Now, you learn the commutative property back a couple of years ago, most likely, it gets popped up all the time. It shows up all the time. That is when you just simply flip the order. So not only is the commutative property good for addition, um, but it's also good for multiplication. So when you look at the next one, two times three equals three times two, the numbers were just switched in order, okay? The order changed, but the value is still the same. Take a look at the next one, two plus, and then in parentheses, three plus four is equal to in parentheses, two plus three, and then plus four. So here, the order of the numbers didn't change. It's still two, three, four, two, three, four. However, the grouping symbols change their location. Now, when you group together with someone, you associate with them. So in the first part on the left, a three and four are getting grouped together. They're associating with each other. And on the right hand side, the two and the three are associating with each other. But the answer would be the same no matter what. If I did the math, three plus four is seven. Two plus seven is nine. OK, over on the right, two plus three is five and five plus four is nine. I get nine no matter what. And so this is what's called the associative property of addition. It doesn't matter what values you add together first. If you're adding all the same numbers in the end, you're going to get the same result. And that's what this proves here. Same thing for the next one, but there's no addition now. It's all multiplication. Two times three times four, so doing three times four first and then multiplying it by two is equal to doing two times three and then taking that answer and multiplying it by four. Three times four is 12. Two times 12 is 24. Over on the right, two times three is six, and six times four is also 24. So the order of the number didn't change, but what got associated or grouped together did change. That's the associative property of multiplication. And the last one, Three times the quantity of two plus five becomes six plus 15. Now we know the distributive property. That's the last option that's there. It's when you take the value that's outside of the parentheses, that's touching the parentheses, and you distribute it by multiplication to everything in the parentheses. So three gets multiplied by two. Three times two is six. And then three would also get multiplied to five. Three times five is 15. 
Now the values on either side of this equation are the same. Two plus five is seven, and three times seven is 21. Whereas over on the right, six plus 15 is also 21. I hope this review of properties was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.